Hey everyone, Chris Bennett here, Blockchain Beard Guy. Today I thought we'd do something a little different. A lot of you have gotten into blockchain recently and you've been studying to learn a lot about it and you've learned a lot about how it works on the surface. Today I want to pop the hood. If you guys haven't looked into Etherscan.io or any blockchain explorer, I want to show you all what a block of transactions looks like, what an individual transaction looks like, and what it looks like when we jump in and look at any individual wallet ID or contract ID and the transactions in it. So Etherscan, just like it says here in the description, is an Ethereum block explorer. It's just a website that lets us come out and browse all the Ethereum transactions on the production and the test Ethereum networks. So if you're writing a test smart contract or making your own test tokens uh, and you deploy them out on test networks on Ethereum such as Ropsten or RinkB, you can also come here on Etherscan to view your transactions and your transfers and your smart contracts behavior and make sure it's working as you expect. Um, <clears throat> on the dashboard here we can see the current market price of Ethereum, $818. We can also see the last block that was mined, and you can think of each block as a sheet of paper that contains a list of transactions. And as soon as a block is mined, it's like finalizing that piece of paper. It says that we have validated that all the transaction details on this piece of paper are true, and we're going to put it onto a stack, and we're only going to worry about validating new pieces of paper as they come in. Everything that lives on the stack uh, we know is true, and we know can't be tampered with because of the properties of blockchain. So we just recently processed piece of paper or block number 5,209,286 and currently the Ethereum production network is processing about seven and a half transactions per second. If we click on the latest block we can see a list of all the latest blocks here um, and let's go ahead and scroll down the list we'll pick one a little bit old and here's a block number 5,209,291 this block or this sheet of paper had 134 transactions on it and we can click this 134 transactions and we can see information about all the individual transactions. So each transaction out on Ethereum is going to have a transaction hash. And this transaction hash is a unique identifier. No other transaction will ever have this transaction hash. And this lets me uniquely identify this transaction so I can always go back and look at it and verify that it happened and that it happened correctly. And in this transaction, it was processed on this block, just like all of these transactions were because we're viewing all the ones on this block. It was processed six minutes ago. And this wallet ID or account number sent a certain amount of money or ether to this wallet ID or this account number. And the value that they sent was just shy of 9 ether, 8.9144 ether. We can click on the transaction hash to actually see some more details about this transaction. So we can see that it was successfully received and processed at this time. We can see who the money was sent from, what account number, and what account number it was sent to. And we can see that based on the current price, it was a uh, little under $7,300 worth of Ethereum trading hands. The cost to process this transaction and add it to the blockchain, where the record of it will live forever, was $0.86 cents based on the current price of gas. And gas is something we can come back and talk about in another video uh, if we want to dive a little bit more into some of the details. But you can think of gas as essentially being the cost to process a transaction. And just like real gas, uh, the cost jumps up and down based on supply and demand. Uh, but uh, for this transaction, it was pretty affordable. Um, if we click on either of these addresses or account numbers, we can see information about this particular account. So this account um, or wallet ID has a balance of 8,123, almost 24 Ether, giving it a current market value of about $6.6 .6 million. 
We can see all the transactions that this account has made. Uh, so <coughs> most recently it paid 12 Ether to this other account. Before that it paid uh, 1 Ether, 3 Ether, uh, almost 2 Ether. And we can click on any of those transaction details as well. And we can see uh, here is a payment this same account made to a different account for $1,564. Now normally you would not be comfortable with everyone in the world seeing the details of your bank account if you had $6.6 .6 million in it. But because of cryptographic hashing, we have no way of tying this account number back to any one single identity or group of people or organization or government. And that makes this very, very anonymous. Um, so because we don't know who or what owns this account and what it's being used for, um, it doesn't really matter so much that we know all the details. What becomes very important is that if I know that this account is going to be paying me um, because I am this account right here, I can verify that I indeed did get paid the 0 0.0911991 Ether that I was promised. Um, so kind of an interesting site, Etherscan, to come and poke around on. Um, if you have your own Ethereum wallet, you can always plug it into the URL. So you can go to etherscan.io slash address slash your wallet ID. And you can see uh, the current wallet balance, any tokens that you're holding. Um, if you're holding any ERC20 tokens, let's see if we can find a wallet. Here's one with some ERC20 tokens. Uh, so this wallet has some ad bank, ad X, ad shares. They have a whole bunch of ERC20 tokens in their wallet as well as just pure Ethereum. Um, <coughs> so you can see your own token balances in here as well as your own Ethereum balances and see all the different transactions you've made um, from people to people in and out and uh, all your different balances. So if you're just getting into Ethereum or blockchain in general, I highly, highly encourage you to come out here to etherscan.io, poke around, dive into some of the blocks, some of the transactions, uh, get an idea of what some of this information means, and just get a sense of what transactions look like on the blockchain. As always, if you have any questions, you can always shoot me a message, or uh, what's even better than that is post your question, tag me in the post, and that way everyone gets to share in the question and the answer. Um, but I always love interacting with everyone, and I appreciate all the support that everyone shows. So until next time, hope you're all having a great day. This is Chris Bennett, your Blockchain Beard Guy.